The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 162, NASDAQ up 49, S&P's up 16 and a half. Gold down thirteen and a half dollars at fourteen ninety nine an ounce. We had silver off thirty cents, seventeen dollars fifty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up seventy cents, fifty three dollars thirty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten year down eleven ticks, one thirty thirty. Thirty year off thirty one, almost uh, one full point, which is thirty two ticks at one sixty two nineteen. And king dollar, king dollar down uh, two hundred and sixty three ticks, trading ninety eight eight eighty five. The euro is at one ten. The yen is at 107.83, and the pound is at 122 to 1 U.S. dollar. So, uh, might as well go. I heard, I heard when you did that update, that update, uh, they sent the... The Twitter sphere. It's got some action going. It's, it's got action. Let's go over to the uh, S&P minis uh, first. Let's take a look at that contract, and you're going to see uh, you get... Trump's going to meet with the vice premier tomorrow, and uh, bottom line, we'll see what shakes out there, but... Uh, what it absolutely did do to the marketplace is that it just took the uh, S and P from uh, 29. Well, if we take this, if we take the low of uh, seven o'clock this morning, 740, 2909 to 2934. And as you said, from last night, it's pretty intense. It is, and that tweet only coming out though at 950. So I think it was already at 917, maybe at uh, 2917. Yeah, it was flat. The, the, the market was flat at yeah. 930, and then ba boom. Yes. Now that's saying ba boom, folks. Okay, this is the market that keeps giving and giving and giving. And my take is we're still on an ABC structure on the way down. So we'll see uh, how many traders fade this pop. Uh, there's plenty of traders that are just waiting for these pops, and uh, you know uh, we'll see we'll see how that baby shakes out. Uh, gold. We go over to the gold contract. We take a look at that gold contract. Gold went the opposite. Uh, in, in, in a flash, no, no two ways about that. Um, oh, I like it. Okay, so we've done 283,000 contracts, and what we just did here is that you just got over these prices. Okay, so that's under or over? Uh, actually, over. You know, well, we okay. didn't get over the 1522, but what this has done thus far, that was pushing higher with volume. So we have 283,000 contracts right now. Um, Last week you did four hundred thousand, and we will do somewhere around that today. So it's going to be intriguing watching the rest of this uh, baby uh, shake out. So we put this intraday, and you're going to see the downdraft, no doubt about that. There's the downdraft on the tweet, and now the question is: uh, the bulls and bears will fight it out the rest of the day. King dollar, you know what? King dollar, King dollar is almost giving it up this morning, Tom. Uh, the we were down 399 ticks a little bit earlier, and then it just said, nope, I don't want to go any lower. Uh, but you can see this morning, so your benchmark is still 98.932. Okay, high of August 1st. Yeah, that would get it in a, a lower range. The, the big lower range, though, is 98.371. So watch this earlier, because it's, it's hard to figure out whether, I mean, the dollar's just been hanging at these highs. And, you know... Yeah, it wasn't a big, well, we don't have the volume on this anyway. So we made a low at, uh, what is that, it's 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah. And then, yeah, as soon as you kind of open back up, well, the tweet, yeah, the tweet pushed it higher too. Uh, the tweet yeah. was at 950. That's, 950, to, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it yeah, didn't one bar before did. that, really. Yeah, that right. was kind of saying in the market. Yeah. It was pretty high. We so, got a 10, 12 point S&P pop on it. Nothing yeah. to dismiss, but, man, we were already... 40, 45 S&P points off of that overnight low, having to do with, you know, the news came out that they might make a currency pact. Yeah. Um, if 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 the rhetoric comes true, that could be true, but that's quite a nift, so we'll see. No, exactly. Because the first exactly. news that sent itself was that the talks were already falling apart, and they hadn't even technically and begun were, the talks. And they were leaving a day early. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And I heard a great quote this morning, folks. Uh, it, was, uh, it was someone on Bloomberg. And the guy says, he says, hey, listen, man, the way this is, is, and they were asking about how do you trade this market. And he says, you know what? 
you know, he was talking about fading it every every time that you're going up. Okay. But he says, what we've learned, he says, if no matter whether it's the positive or negative, right, one's coming out, he says, just give it another hour or two, <laughs> and then there's going to be something on the other side. And it's true. You yes. know what I mean? Because none of us know what's really going on. And, no. and the larger context, the bottom line is that, you know, my take is that once you get a wash start, in which we have in a huge way, um, it's hard to stop it. Yeah, I see what you're looking at here. So PG and E, right? Um, I think PG, PG, PCG. You know, there we go. This this baby here, folks. Okay, this has been sticking out for a long time, and you know I've talked about this many times for years on the year. What I quite can't quite understand is you you have companies, right, that absolutely are bankrupt, right? But yet the SEC still allows them to trade, right? And so you see people that really, well, you see sophisticated people buy it, but you see a lot of people that really just don't, you know, they say, okay, well, the thing's trading. It's really down from a lot. It's the biggest electric company in the world and all of California, yeah. right? And, you know, bottom line is, um, you know, this thing is BK. What they, what you see it down 30% today. And what's happening today is that now the judge ruled they wanted exclusive right as to how to go through their, their bankruptcy. Yeah. And the judge was, nope, that's not going to happen. The debt holders are going to come in. Yeah, they have um, no control anymore. Is, yeah, they, right. they, they're going to fight it out. He's going to let uh, Elliot look at it. He's going to let PIMCO look at it. So okay. they're all going to come in with different proposals. And if you look at this equity, what you're going to see, which is sticking out like a sore thumb, is this high volume low. And it's taken a long time to get there. Um, but, you know... That's where you're going. Look at that thing. So what is it? That's last January. Yes, I believe uh, that's, you know, not as it was cascading because you can see that I'm sure the fires <laughs> really started, whether it was November. I'm not sure. Yeah, that because, was the second time. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So that's the right. first fire and that's the second fire. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you can see that high volume low is at five dollars and something, right? Yes. Five oh seven, I believe. Yeah. Five oh seven. And so they they lost. Want me to pull the article over? Yeah, they, they, they right lost here. that, and then on top of that, uh, the bottom line is that uh, you get, uh, there's a couple other analysts that are saying it's going to go to zero now. Of course it's going to okay. go to zero. They, it's, they're bankrupt. <laughs> but this article here okay. is about, go ahead. Uh, so it's just the two of them, like you were talking about, bondholders, Pacific Investment, and Elliott, that they're going to be able to pitch their own restructuring plan alongside PG&E so they can both come up with ways the utility could deal with an estimated $30 billion in the liabilities from those fires. All right. Yeah. You know, I, I don't get that, like, what's happening is that now they get big blackouts there, right? Because they don't, you know, they get... They're, they're preemptive backouts, right? Yeah, they're and, they're and, dropping them purposely to right. avoid, hopefully, a fire, right. as they say. Right, because there's gust of 70 miles an hour yes. right, uh, right right now, evidently. That's okay. what they're saying this morning. What I don't get is that, okay, you have the lot... That's the utility company in California. Then you have the, the people saying... They want your electricity. Well, the somehow that you got to make a law to protect the utility. I yeah. mean, I understand. You can't have both, right? Right. You, you I understand say... they didn't do their work, and yeah, right. th that's BK now. But something has to get in place sure. to get electricity. Sure. And they're living in the middle of, you know, there's plenty of trees in California, and, and they have very dry weather, you know? So they're. It's, yeah, that's what I really don't get out of the whole thing. No, you know? I, I, I you know? hear you. As in, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. But. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I will come right back. Dow. Dow is up 136. Nasdaq's up 40. S&P's up 14. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow is up 165. Nasdaq's up 50. S&Ps are up 17 and a half. And we are going to be having natural gas coming up in 10 minutes. That's right. So we got inventories coming out. 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time every Thursday. Let's jump up and pull out the contract. We're going to go to commodities, natural gas. We're looking at the November contract, natural gas right now trading at 225. I heard Larry talking about natural gas this morning on his program. 223, I think he was talking about. Quite a price tag for natural gas in terms of where it's traded. So let's see, we're trading at about 225 right now. And I'm going to pull this up real quick with a little reference. So we're looking at natural gas. It looks like they're checking out the whisper numbers, about 100 for an increase in the inventory for the weekly number. Survey on Bloomberg 98. Either way, looking for a build okay, of, of so, some degree. So let's see. So we're coming into the fall, right? And it's still, it's still a build. That's interesting, isn't it? I was talking to some subscribers this morning. They were saying up in uh, Boston, they had the heat on for the first time. It was 52, 53, and their house was in the really? low 50s. And they said, ah, I'm going to pop on the heat. Why not? Okay. So maybe some of that natural gas. Uh, so let's start it off with the 11 a.m. So we're trading at 225. What's nice is we have exposure from 225 in 20 cents in both directions, right? So here's our bullish spread. You go from 225 to 245. We have eight ticks essentially of intrinsic value because we're trading at 225.8. This contract costing us $16. Not bad. Eight bucks of premium, eight right. bucks of value, you could call it on the bullish side. Now this expires at 11 a.m. So you only have 40 minutes of exposure. You're gonna get the inventory numbers at 10.30 though, which is might, what you might only be trading. And on the bearish side, you're out of the money. So a similar level of premium, 21. just no value, right? Uh, 25, 25 bucks for both sides of it, 16 plus nine. Oh yes, yeah. Um, so. And even as this is ticking around a bit, even 17, nine, so 25, 26, 27 bucks, a buck on each side of commission. Not bad if you really get a pop in either direction right. because we're kind of sitting right there. But let's see how the noons line up and if we're going to get the same price point. I think we may. So the noons, the bullish side, the 11 a.m. was 17 bucks For the extra hour until noon, we're only looking at 18 Now this is ticking around a bit. I'm going to reset this market. So 15 to 18 here's your 11 a.m. You can buy it at 226.6 now. Really nothing. Not, not no. I want to say nothing, I right? Know. But two ticks. You can see the difference of what you're, you know, you can buy it at the offer. 
Here's your 11 a.m. You're buying it at 226.5. And it almost looks like when you look at the bid and offer, just so if you're looking at these screens, folks, is that like you get retail traders in the middle, maybe. You know, we get five on each side and 20. They may be market makers. I think they're two different market makers, is yeah. what it is. Well, um, but like. it is nice that, you know, you get a, a tighter spread. Right. Because you can see that. They, each market maker has a seven bid offer spread, but yeah. they're pricing it differently by a penny, whereas this market maker is 226 by 226.7, whereas this market maker is probably one tick higher, 226.1 by 226.8, each of them having a seven penny spread, they want that business. but combined, you're yep. getting the six penny spread, right? right. right. Um, so here's your noon that you'd be buying because you're at 225, and it's, what's nice is this is even ticking back closer and closer to 225. We're at 225.8 to start. We're now almost at 225.4. Uh, so you'd be buying the bullish spread, 225 down to 205 on the bear side. And we'll pull it up. We're going to put in a Yeah, we got to get that whisper. I guess. Right now. 12. So you're looking at under $30. Call it $30, $31 with commission. So you'd be looking at 30 cents of movement. Noon. Basically from right, uh, excuse me, three, three cents. cents. Yeah. yeah. From 225. And let's just see where. The right. dailies. You want to jump around? Okay. I, I see wanna... you. I see you. We see you getting yeah, antsy. Okay. <laughs> you got two minutes and 40 seconds. Well, I just want to get that active contract. Yep. Uh, no, we're dealing with Novembers, right? We are. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So let's see. So we are at 225. Yep. Interesting. So it's rejected lower price out here this morning. And man, quite a run from that 275 high of, you know, mid September. Uh, excuse, yeah, 275. You're down yesterday. Hasn't tested yet. Okay, 220. Okay, go ahead. I think uh, I'm still in a little bearish situation there. Okay, so if you're bearish, right, be theoretically, more, more you'd, build, you'd look right? for a bigger build, yeah. right? If we have a ton of supply, people are going to be paying cheaper prices for the same amount. Um, so you'd be looking for even a bigger. What do you think? How about 103? Want to go bigger than that? Whatever you want. Go ahead. 103. Let's okay, do it. Good. The number's 100. Whoops, are we entering it? Not letting us for some reason. There it is. Oh, you know what? The number lock button, folks. You know it. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. And uh, interesting, we don't go over it as much because they don't trade as heavily, but we get corn end stocks and soybean end stocks. I wonder if those will pop up in the same 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, it looks like, coming up uh, on that number, and it's 10.23 right now. Now, let's just see, out of curiosity, if a trade's possible for the dailies, because we went over the 11 a.m. expirations, yeah. we went over the noons, right? You're looking at between 2.6 pennies to three pennies, depending on how much time you want. But I think the dailies may line up. Nope, okay, so right away the first dailies, you only have 220, and I wonder if the 230s are gonna be any different, no. So the 11 a.m. Uh, expiration and noons, they both have 225, and we'll see what happens. We're uh, six minutes away from that number. You gotta love it. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, right now, uh, let's see. Once you got that pop, uh, we'll see uh, the bulls and bears are fighting it out right at that level. No, yeah, no doubt. hanging tough. And I think I even have the tweet. Why don't we pull it up just for reference and time? So that's the one that popped to the most recent. Big day of negotiations with China. They want to make a deal, but do I? I meet with the vice premier tomorrow at the White House. That tweeted... Uh, that's probably Pacific, I'm guessing, because it was 9.49 a.m. Uh, yeah, interesting, right? Yeah, I'm not sure right. why that. That's the first time I saw it with that timestamp, because even if you back it up, um, it shows 35 minutes ago on that correlation, his most recent tweet. Right. Yeah. Maybe he just, maybe he wrote it then and just had to do it at the open of the market. He already bought some calls. I think it's time. He bought some calls on the S&P. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the 30-year uh, bond out here. So these have been hanging tough. You know, yesterday you came down with light volume. Uh, today, oh, this is going to be interesting. We get some volume. This 200,000 is it's a good volume out here, I think, today. It depends what we're going into. That's a lot of volume. Oh, I see what we're going into, though. No, we're still going to go into 489. Intriguing. Okay. So 489 would have been... October 1st, low is 160, the high is 163, and uh, we'll see whether they get another 289,000. You could. This is still, that's that's absolutely early in the morning to have uh, 200,000 uh, uh, contracts in the 30. Yeah. In the 30. You know? Especially when it seems like um, it could be a day of speculative headlines that right. could oh, spur yeah. some more pops in either direction. It's only 1025 in the morning. That's right. 
You know, as our man Mr. Basil Chapman would say, the day is young. That sure and is. He would say that at 3 o'clock also, which yeah. he's absolutely right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. So let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. I know there's a biotech that got bought out at double the amount of money. Good for them. I hope I man Mr. Bud Rolfs had it. Kudos. <laughs> Where is it? Here it is right here. Let's see. RA Pharmaceuticals, huh? Yeah. So let's see what they these guys do. Let's see. We'll operate a clinical stage biopharma company. The company offers drugs for treatment of cancer, inflammation, uh, autoimmune diseases, um, Diabetes, cardiovascular, yeah. and quite a plethora. Cambridge, look at that, Cambridge, Mass. One, so, one million in revenue. And they... Slight, uh, slightly. I well, believe Oh, it. that's not even in yet, they, they, right? It's not. It's the 600000 Yes. It would be the... $2 billion market cap, I believe, at that price tag. So maybe they're buying it at about two, two, one. it looks like. There that, you go, 2.144, probably just over that level. It's phenomenal. That's Stay a big right number. there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, EIA, natural gas stockpiles rose 98 BCF. That's what they were looking for. That was the median Pretty much estimate, exactly. right? Median estimate, 98. Bloomberg number was a bigger number at 100. We came in at 103. But let's see how it's hitting the market. We'll jump back to the charts. And the contract, no real movement. 226.64 right now. You're looking at the active contract November. As we're talking, we're getting a little volatility. But that number, I mean, you can see the 1025 bar. 
we had already inched up a bit prior right. to that number. So yeah, you could say you got a brief spike, maybe to 227. We're sitting at 226. That's really those where those trades are lining up prior to the number. And it doesn't mean you won't get some volatility, but anytime you're looking for volatility, it'd be nice if you could get a miss, right? One way or the other totally. on that on that totally. inventory. Because you need three pennies. I think, I think yep, the 12, about three. Yeah, you know. The, the 12, you needed uh, three, 3.1, 3.2 right. pennies. Even the 11 a.m., you needed 2.5 pennies, 2.6 right. to cover your cost, a buck on each side of that. That's away so, from the 225. Yeah, so about right. three pennies. So you'd be looking for either 222 or 228. You start to break even, slash grab some profits, and uh, you'd have exposure for 20 cents. So, and as we speak, though, we're now almost two pennies off the high. So we'll check back in on that number, but neither way. Still a build, right? Still a build. 100 billion cubic feet almost, 98, but still a build. Lots of natural gas, That's for sure. Lots of natural gas. Some of the, um, we'll, we'll get over to Bed Bath & Beyond They got a, a new Target executive over yeah, there. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, let's bring it up right now. The then. market's so, excited to bring some of that Target yeah. over there. And what the, the executive folks is known for, he brought, I think it said 40 brands. Uh, he made 40 Target brands. Okay. You know, so I don't know how many Bed Bath & Beyond um, brands they actually have, but that's what this guy does. Let's see. So Bed Bath & Beyond saw his share, uh, soared Thursday. Oh, that's questionable, but they're, they are up good. There's no uh, doubt. 25%. Yeah. That's, that's Analysts quite a were uh, encouraged that by the announcement that... Uh, Given, what's the guy's name? So it's a, you, you, it was the first one. They, yeah. uh, the head merchant, Mark Triton, uh, or Triton, as the new CEO. Yeah. So and blog, you know, analysts broadly encouraged by the announcement, given his successful tenure at Target, um, and he cited the new CEO, an analyst citing the new CEO's retail slash consumer pedigree and merchi merchandising and private label development expertise and experience. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know myself. I mean, Target has some good brands. They do. I know I oh, probably yeah. have some Target, whether it's lamps, whether it's small stools, right? You could buy tables, desks, that type of, um, I'm sure, you know, on top of just normal, oh, normal towels, glasses, and, and the so forth. It's almost like every time that you go into Publix, folks, they have more and more of Publix I'm brands. a huge fan of the Greenwise uh, yeah. uh, products oh, in there. Yeah. There's no doubt. Whether the chicken, the, the they have a Greenwise, you know, a lot yep. of stuff, veggies, et cetera. Yep. Yeah, and they just and, talk about their only hang-up is he's never been a CEO before. But if that's your only knock on somebody, man, yeah. you know, executives at these multinational companies, they might as well be CEOs when you're in an executive you know, position totally. right under any type of management right. when you're talking about a company like Target. They have plenty of money to bring in more advisors. There's yeah. no doubt about that. And we take a look at the equity. Boy, oh boy, quite a run from that August low. Yeah. So. And quite a run from that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we put it even further back when sure. you're done? Because I see. bet that's not all the pain. Look even at, further ooh, back, maybe. Wow, we I just put a three. We haven't back. found a, an end to the trend. I'll do a ten-year monthly. There we oh, go. Man, that's the end. That's probably. been one. Ooh. Eighty bucks. Look at that. 2015, they got all the way up to 79. Oh, I got to bring this all the way back now. Can Keep you know going. All right, let's well, see. Well, you know why? This is testing a test the high volume low somewhere, man. That's blew it by. Look at that. It actually blew right by it. Oh, let me bring wow. it back further. How am I? I'm back 25, 20 I mean, years now. Retroactively, you could probably always find if a company is going to go bankrupt where it's running past an area where it traded before with volume, right? I mean, so quite a run from that. And it's really even remarkable from the crisis of 2008. That's from 2000. Yeah. 11 bucks. And I actually went lower than that. I right? guess, it, yeah, it was down below eight, I think, or nine. Yeah, 731. Yeah. Look at that poor thing, man. One of those stories, I think, as it even kicked in, right? Even 2012, look how it hung tough from late 2012 all the way through 2015, where they were hanging tough on the oh, numbers. Yeah. But the everybody region. kept saying, you know, even in our program, I believe, you know, how do you compete there? How do you do it? And it seems like eventually the, yeah. the market got the best of them in terms of the market being Amazon and Walmart and right. Target. Right. Because they changed their business plan. They had brought so much more electronics inside inside the stores. Okay. Meaning they would make a lot of money in the phones then. Apple was running. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond? What time? Oh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah. No, that's Best Buy. Oh, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, there's that's no That's what I was saying. You know, uh, oh, there's no help for Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, he's got to, well, we'll see how many stores he can get closed, you know.
I mean, the, the space that they have in there, that's... Very true. That, that space is, like, pretty intense, man. No doubt about yes. that. Yes. You know. um, let's go look at Amazon, you know, so... Speaking of... The, right. the holidays are coming. They are. Um, Christmas decorations are out in force already. They're, they're, we got to get past. We got to get past Halloween and, and Thanksgiving, but they're and already Hall out. You know, Halloween, folks, it's a mind blower. If you even just Google it, the the amount that is spent on Halloween is just amazing. Okay. I mean, it's it's a kids monster. are everywhere. They all need costumes. It, it, they all need candy. It's, it's a monster number. Yeah. And not to mention decorations and, and all right, that fun. Right. Right. Yeah, that's fun getting right. dressed up. I, oh. Sure. Yeah. And I then, enjoy the trick or treaters coming to coming to my house. No, for sure. Yeah. For sure. What kind of candy bars are you have? Oh, come on. You know the good ones. <laughs> Some good Reese's, some good Snickers in there. I know, Reese's, man. Reese's. Whoever made Reese's, folks, I mean, no. they just, they're, they're, that's just the ultimate. Oh, look at, that, look at that natural gas. Oh, give it a moment, and it'll catch up, man. So just checking back in. We were trading at about 226, coming into the inventory number. Came in pretty much in line. Quick spike to 227, and boom, we're going 223. Uh, just like that. And again, though, we need about three pennies. Now, the thing to keep in mind is, if you really thought, you know, you were going lower, you're going higher, you can always exit one side of this trade and the other one's going to remain active until whether it's a 11 a.m. Sure. or noon. The noons are kind of nice because you have some more time to, to go higher or lower. But if you were bullish somehow and you traded both sides of it, let's just see what you could get rid of the bearish one right now. Right. There's your bearish spread. There's your noon. You could buy it back. And you could take 16 bucks off the table and then you'd basically be in the bullish trade for $14, right? So you yeah. need this to be a penny and a half about above 225 where you start to break even. Just different ways you can manage it depending on if you think, you know, you might have been looking for a bigger miss and you say, you know what, I'm going to take 50, 60 percent of what I put up off the table right. because already I've kind of missed my expectation, which was yes, you, you were open for a miss on the number, which didn't come in. Right. Now this is delayed. Yes, so we haven't seen the number come in yet. That's why we're trading at 226 on this chart, but we know it's going to pop up and then jump to about 223 and change right now. Mm, low of the last swing is 220. Yeah, low two, of yesterday is 222. 222.9, yeah. so we're very close to that as well. Man, energy, you know, when you look at these numbers, just gasoline, oil, gas in general. And how about just you make me think, uh, we'll talk about, let's take a look at Tesla when we come back, because Tesla had to send out an update to Tesla owners in California, because they have planned outages. What do you do if you're a Tesla, and they're actually planning oh to cut all your God. electricity in the area? And look at it, still not down. Not down. <laughs> That's pretty wild. It though. is, yeah. And Genrac, Genrac was up 13%. That yesterday. would make sense if well, they're cutting the cord uh, yeah. to the electric company in the all biggest right. state of the union. All right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 160. Nasdaq's up 48. S&Ps are up 18. Uh, let's just go to the financials for a second, the XLF, because what we've had out here is that they've, been, they've had a hard time holding price. So I'm just curious, you know, the, you get rates uh, going up today. Okay, so they get a little pop. You know, yeah. the, the XL is up 37 cents. I think we're at like 1.64 on the 10-year right now yeah. from like a 1.57, 1.58 yeah, in the no, beginning of today. A quite fast a pop. move. Yeah, there's no doubt. 10-year, let's pull this baby up. These bonds, man. I was reading an article just somewhere on the internet today uh, talking about, you know, the 60-40 split of bonds to, excuse me, the, from stocks to bonds, yeah. diversification, talking about retirement allocation type. Uh, that might not be a strategy that you should be employing, and I would be very serious. My mom retired. I've been talking to her, and my biggest fear is, you know, you can't just buy bonds right now um, and, and think that it's this stable, stable return of income in a, in a somewhat really volatile stock market because right. we're in a now, different... Now, you're talking about bond funds. Yes, the price of bonds they're trading. That's correct. Right. Not off the Treasury. Yep. Right. If you... If you plan on holding them to expiration and you're only looking for coupon and right. you know what you're locking in and you're right. okay with that. But if you're- Treasury direct, that's where you're, you want to go. Yep, um, right. but if you're buying bond funds, as oh, most people are, when exactly. you're with a Fidelity, ETF, Schwab, that, TD Ameritrade, no um, you're paying for any type of money management, whether it's a percent a year uh, right. management fee, percent and a half, they're not getting managed to put you into treasuries most of the time. They're getting managed to put you, if you're with a Fidelity, into yep. a Fidelity bond fund, into right. a Fidelity stock fund. Uh, so be and very aware. All trading over the principal in a huge way. Yeah, as yeah. in you're going to have principal risk that right. is going to come with that bond funds yield. Right. And man, oh man, you better watch out as a today like to today. You know where you have those. Uh, oh yeah. Bonds, the ten year. If you're trading the ten year, right? You know um, you're out at minus fourteen ticks. Sure. If you trade the thirty year, you're off a full point. Well, right. good luck getting yield when when you have that type of volatility on your the principal. Right. If we go to the TLT, so this is the 20 year plus. And, you know, you know. I mean, it's a perfect example. It, you know, there's a, I don't want to say a million bond funds. There's a lot of bond funds out yeah. there. And they're not all going to be as volatile, probably, as the TLT, even just recently, depending on how they're diversified. But the TLT is, should be pretty, pretty stable, as in it should have. Can we just push it back uh, before? Oh, yeah. I, I want to see what, because they really talked about the 2000s. You know, they talked about, I don't know how far back the TLT was actually created. That'll be the test. You mean the last time it got smoked? It was 1994. No, no, I was, was just, oh. I, no, no, I was just even saying, um, you know, in the 2000s and the two, uh, excuse me, in the 90s, no, in the 2000s and 2010s, basically the last 20 years, yeah. right? I mean, and you can see that even in the, from 2002, when you go through the crisis, you had some volatility, but all in all, pretty stable. Yes. But man, oh man, you just went from 110 to 150. Right. If you don't think this is a range that if you bought in right now, right. 
you could go back to 110, 115, sure. even if the consensus is always rising, okay? Even if you created, you know, now how do we, uh, I mean, you know, talk about, you could have a huge trading range here from, even if you call that the upper end. Yep. Whoops, not track. We want one more bar and you know where it's going to be, right? I mean, we're just trying to use the linear regression of correlating those lows. Look at that. You're under 120 and... <laughs> Speaking of, we'll, we'll give Bud Ross two Bud Ross mentions today exactly. with the channel. Exactly. Um, because, man, oh, man, you know, you don't have to be a genius to see this thing bouncing, 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 yeah. bouncing, 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 bouncing. Well, folks, where's the next bounce, right? Even if you would extrapolate in time and raise sure. it a bit, 120, one, right. 122, 121, right. in a normal uptrend. Yes. So be aware of that volatility. Right. That was a good article, a good point. Oh, it's a, it's a huge point. Yeah. It's particularly because, you know, people equate bonds... Not all bonds, but definitely oh, treasuries finish the with, with You're safety. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And oh, and I would say I wouldn't even go that far. People, yeah. as in people, smart, intelligent, yeah. in the, you know, retired or right. something where they have money in the market, right. they equate, oh, but I'm in 60% stocks, 40% bonds, I'm protected. And it's like, well, you know, do you realize that your capital, if you want to retire tomorrow and take your money out, that no, you just lost price appreciation of a right. big, you know, dramatic effect. One of the biggest downdrafts, I, could, I don't know if I can bring them up, but 1994, folks, it was, it was a slaughter inside the bond market. And it was a slaughter, like, within about six months. Okay. Um, and, you know. I wonder if the 10-year can somehow get it generic. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. There's our yield. Yeah. Let's see how back we're going to go. We'll, yeah. we'll pop it up GPO first. Yeah. To get we should our, be able to go back 50 I think years. we should, yeah. depending on how these generics line up. And we're going to go a monthly 30 year with that. No, no, maybe not even. We'll, we'll go quarterly 50 year and see how far back they pop us. So where the slaughter, what were you um, where, it's from? 80? 94. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. This is the yield. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. So you would have had, yep. There's the beginning of 94. You had the uh, yield pop all the way from, let me get the 6. number. 6.2. 5.1. Yeah. To 7.6. Right. My goodness. And, the price could have had to be devastating. Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that was, well, since I've been in the business, that was one of the first times that people didn't know what happened to them. Yeah, it, I, I it would was, imagine. That was that dramatic. Do you know what I mean? I mean, just a huge yeah. from a yield from, it's right. almost a 50% rise, right? Particularly, let's see how, had, how, how far it had gone down for, yeah. so, for so many years. Yeah. You know, you had the yield. I mean, come on. Is that is that even a misprint? Fifteen point eight percent. No, that's right. Ten-year yield. I know. I that's eighty one. I mean, remarkable, yeah. man. And you went from fifteen point eight, and to eighty six. You were um, six point nine percent. You know what's so cool about this chart, folks, is that see the bond market has been in a bull market since nineteen eighty one. The price of it, as yes. in the yield, it's, it has, can, it's not over. You know, I, I mean, until you can see no. this chart. You know, we've been consolidating now for a long period of time, almost like twenty thirteen, right? You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could um, even call it from here to here. Yeah, right? that's what I'm looking at, right. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, and if you break that, that's, you know, we break that consolidation, that's when you go negative. Sure. You know? And, you know, the other way you could look at it, too, in terms of the downward, though, let me just get out and draw the same lines, because, you know, they would somewhat set up these lows. I mean, that's a, that's a scary in terms of you're there, now you're consolidating, but you're still getting the lower highs is what I'm... Yeah. Whoops, we're going to this guy. And that's what you do with trends, folks. Right. That's the bottom I line. I mean, something like that. You could probably move this. Oh, I can't. <laughs> See, now that. you got to move that line down so, maybe a little bit. But what, it, what does happen, if you happen to watch Even the Tiger TV, that, that red line is a dangerous line for the bond market. Yeah. You know? Because, uh, because you Because it's like, okay, we've been in that channel, and if, right. if you're not at the bottom of that channel, as time goes out, well, guess what? Guess where it goes, man. Zero. Yeah. That's right. the yield, zero. Right. Yeah. Right. And when you do the, just the, the break of the consolidation we're in, it's 0 0.08. Okay. Well, if you, you take, know. like, what we're at for the upper. Yeah, exactly. So even a conservative, the higher range we were at was about 3.03. .03. Yeah. That high was 3.25. We're trading take the low, right, yeah. We're trading 1.6. I mean, that brings right. it, you know, we're about 1. Point, we're about 1.6 off of the high. Right. right, just from where we were trading at at the beginning of this year, 3.0, excuse me, 3.25 down to 1.64, but basically cut in half. I know. Yeah. 
Uh, yep. And you know, the bottom line, uh, you know, you get Powell and the Fed claiming it's not QE. Well, they're going to buy the bonds, you know, so you can call it whatever you want to call it, but yes, they're buying those bonds, man. So. I, I agree. Capital in the market. Right. Yeah. Dow, Dow up 155, NASDAQ up 47, S&P's up 17. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow up 170, Nasdaq up 55, S&P's up 20. And folks, our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, next Wednesday is going to be coming up. He's going to be doing a live webinar for his subscribers. You can be a subscriber to Fibonacci 24 by 7 right here, right now. Uh, the way to do it, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into featured content. You're going to see on the right-hand side... Fibonacci 24-7, he's got that subscriber webinar one week from yesterday, so sign up for that. He's always got great reports coming out over the weekend as well, so it's a great time to sign up. He's got updates almost every day, whether in chart or video form, and then he has, man, you know, I go through and look at it every weekend, and it's just so much information, man. He is, is just sitting at that computer putting out charts. He's usually got at least two videos he makes it's talking nice about the markets. Yeah, yeah, right. And then he's even got the longer-term futures charts talking about monthly, sometimes even you know quarterly charts going back for everything, kind of a week summation. 
But Wednesday night, welcome to the Halloween party in the stock market. He sent me over a couple titles. He chose. Spooky. Yeah, that's right. He chose that one, and I liked it. And um, becoming a Halloween party on Wall Street due the end of this month. Well, that works out. Halloween, October 31st, yeah. right? And um, he's going to be talking the use of application of artificial intelligence in trading volatile markets. Do we have some volatile markets yeah. that should be applicable? He's used, talking about how to use harmonic numbers when trading the volatile markets. A brief history of the last three tops in in the stock market over the last 25 years. It will include a daily outline of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and E-mini through the month of October and also a trade of the day, which is the best setup we see in the 16 markets that Larry follows. As always, new subscribers, 30-day money-back guarantee. I encourage you to come over here. You can sign up whether it's a month, whether it's six months, whether it's a year. All of those come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can add some savings. Maybe jump into the six months. You're saving 22%. The yearly saving 32%, a full 379. But either way, great service, man. Check Good. it out. Should be great on the week from Wednesday. Stay right there, folks. Think of swim coming up next. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. That was quick. Go get them, folks.